Hey everybody, it's Zach from My Shire Farm. We are back again with another video to help you on your journey with Caternix quail and becoming a little bit more self-sufficient. In this video, we are gonna talk about all about the colors. Uh, it is a playlist that we've done about each one of the colors that we offer at our website at myshirefarm.com. And it is uh, the Rosetta's turn today. We will be talking about the Rosetta as I show you. We'll be talking about average lifespan, uh, average egg size, average weight at full maturity, how many eggs they lay in a year, um, and a lot more, so stay tuned. Um, before I do so, if you can, be so kind to hit that like button, support the channel, and also subscribe because we have a lot of great videos uh, we are planning to come your way. Uh, remember, if you have any questions, you can visit us um, Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our YouTube channel, My Shire Farm, as we go live uh, for a live question and answer every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But today, we're going to talk about the Rosetta. So this is what it looks like. Yep. All right. So that's kind of what it looks like. How are they sexed? Well, they are not feather sexable. You do have to vent sex. Um, vent sexing, we have a few videos on our YouTube channel that you can check out about that. Um, but typically it's between six to eight weeks old when you can do that. Um, they typically will start crowing at about five and a half. Uh, but actually vent sexing is between six and six to eight weeks. Uh, the average size of the Rosetta uh, for the females is 9.8 ounces uh, and the males are 9.4 ounces. Uh, so fairly large quail. Uh, pretty consistent in that sizing as well. Uh, hatching true. Well, I can tell you how we got the Rosetta. We got the Rosetta by putting Tibetans and Pharaohs together that will create a Rosetta, all right? So the hatching true percentage is about 95%, a little over 95, uh, so between 95 and 96. Um, so the other four and a half, five percent uh, that would hatch out would be either be Tibetan or a Pharaoh. Um, we're hoping and expecting that the next generation will get to be about 98%, and that's kind of where we want to be at. Um, but the hatching true is 95%. Uh, the, the size of the eggs we do in grams, uh, and that is an average of 13 grams per egg uh, that the Rosettas produce, so they are very, very good. Um, average eggs per year, they are statistically our most consistent now, uh, and they are averaging, <clears throat> sorry, they are averaging 323 eggs a year uh, per uh, so they are absolutely fantastic as far as production goes. Um, the average lifespan, they average as far as production goes, they average about two years and two months. Uh, so fairly long lifespan compared to the other uh, colors that we have done, the other jumbos that we've done on this playlist. Uh, so yes, as far as durability, reliability, uh, consistency, rosettas are very high, uh, if not the top in a lot of those categories. Uh, and the average hatch rate on shipped eggs this year uh, for Rosettas is 78%, um, which is uh, in the top seven or eight. I can't remember. It's either the top seven or eight that, that uh, the hatch rate is. So uh, we've shown you what they look like. You have to vent sex. Uh, we've talked about the average size, which is 9.8 uh, ounces in females, 9.4 ounces in males. Uh, they hatch 95% true. What else you could get out of that is Tibetans and Pharaohs. Uh, they produce about 13 gram eggs on average. Um, and then we've talked about everything else. So uh, without any further ado, I will show you the Rosetta one more time. I know a couple people have been begging for this video for quite some time. So again, that's what your Rosetta is going to look like. There you go. And I hope you enjoyed the video. We do have a playlist called All About the Colors uh, that has quite a bit more videos on it, uh, such as our Jumbo Wilds, Pearls, Fab Fees, all that. Uh, so if you have a question about another color, you can check that out. But remember, every Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we go live uh, for a live Q&A. Uh, you ask the questions. I'll do my best to help you 
uh, with Caternix Quail. Visit us on our website at myshirefarm.com. I greatly appreciate it. We just updated it and we're in the process of still updating it. Uh, so check that out. I'm very happy with the progress so far. And uh, remember to join Facebook and Newbie Quail Lovers Facebook group. So until next time, we will see you then. Thanks, have a great day.